Hi friends, welcome back on our YouTube channel. Today, in a statistical mechanics, we are going to discuss about density fluctuation in grand canonical ensemble. In last lecture, we have discussed about grand canonical ensemble and also about grand partition function. Now, density fluctuation in grand canonical ensemble. So let's start density fluctuation in grand canonical ensemble. So, density fluctuation in grand canonical ensemble. The average number of particles in grand canonical ensemble is given by ensemble average n equal to z del by del z of log r. And here r is the function of z v t, z is fugacity, v is volume and t is temperature and r is actually grand partition function. Now, if we differentiate it with respect to z, then ensemble average of n square minus a square of ensemble average of n is equal to z del by del z, z del by del z of log r. And if we find its value, then this will be ktv del to p upon del mu2. Here mu is chemical potential and p is pressure. Let Helmholtz free energy of the system is A and A is the function of NVT is equal to NA and here A is the function of a small v and what is a small v? A small v equal to capital V upon capital N. The value of v is very large and the value of N is very large but the value of v is finite. Now, chemical potential. Chemical potential mu equal to del A upon del N and A equal to N A. So, if we replace this A by N into small a, then mu equal to del by del N of N A. Now, we differentiate N A with respect to N by using U into V method. So, first of all, A is constant and differential of N with respect to N is 1 plus second time n is constant and differential of a with respect to n is del a upon del n and since small v equal to capital V upon capital N and therefore capital N equal to capital V upon small v or dn equal to minus capital V upon small v square dv because v is constant and differential of a small v is minus 1 by v square dv. So the value of dn is this one. We replace this n by capital V upon small v and this del n by minus capital V upon small v square del v. So mu equal to a plus capital V upon small v del a upon minus capital V upon small v square del v. Now this capital V and this capital V will be cancelled out and this small v cancel with one small v. So mu equal to a minus v del a upon del v. Now pressure. Since pressure p equal to minus del a upon del v. Now we replace this a by n into a small a. So if we substitute a by this one then p equal to minus del by del v of n a and since small v equal to capital V upon capital N so v equal to a small v into capital N so dv equal to n d small v so this del v is replaced with n small dv so this will be equal to minus del by n del small v n a so n and n will be cancelled out so p equal to minus del a upon del small v so p equal to minus del a upon del small v since mu equal to a 
माइनस वी डेल ए अपॉन डेल वी सो डेल म्यू बाई डेल स्मॉल वी इज इक्वल टू डेल बाई डेल वी ऑफ ए माइनस वी डेल ए अपॉन डेल वी सो वी रिप्लेस दिस म्यू बाई दिस वन एंड डेयर फोर डेल म्यू बाई डेल वी विल बी दिस वन नाउ वी डिफ्रेंशियट दिस विद रेस्पेक्ट टू स्मॉल वी सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डिफ्रेंशियल ऑफ ए With respect to small v, is del a upon del v. This negative comes here. Now we differentiate it with respect to small v by using u into v method. So first of all, this v is constant, and differential of del a upon del v with respect to v is del two a upon del v two. And second time, del a upon del v is constant, and differential of small v with respect to small v is one. So plus del a upon del v. Now we open this bracket. So del a upon del v and del a upon del v will be cancelled out, and therefore del mu by del v is equal to minus v del two a upon del v two, or del mu by del v equal to minus v del two a upon del v two. Since p is this one. So, if we differentiate p with respect to v, then del p upon del v equal to minus del two a upon del v two. Now, del p upon del mu is equal to del p by del v divided by del mu by del v. So, to get the value of del p upon del mu, we divide del p by del v by del mu by del v, and therefore, this negative and this negative will be cancelled out. And also, del two a upon del v two is cancelled with del two a upon del v two, and therefore, del p upon del mu is equal to one upon v. Now, del p upon del mu equal to one upon v. And if we again differentiate del p upon del mu with respect to mu, then this will be del two p upon del mu two is equal to. Minus one upon v square del v by del mu. Since del mu by del v is equal to minus v del two a upon del v two, so if we put the value of this here, then del two p upon del mu two is equal to minus one upon v square minus one upon v del two a upon del v two. Now this negative and this negative will be cancel out, and And this v square is multiplied with this v, so del two p upon del mu two is equal to one upon v cube, one upon del two a upon del v two. Also, del p upon del v is equal to minus del two a upon del v two. So this is replaced with del p upon del v, and therefore del two p upon del mu two will be equal to minus one upon v cube. One upon del p by del v, and k t equal to minus one upon v del p upon del v, and k t is actually isothermal compressibility. So if we put the value of k t here, then del two p upon del mu two is equal to one upon v square k t. Now, since Ensemble average of n square minus square of ensemble average of n equal to k t v del two p upon del mu two and del two p upon del mu two equal to one upon v square k t and therefore ensemble average of n square minus square of ensemble average of n equal to k t capital v upon small v into k t upon small v. Because this is replaced with one upon v square k t, so we get this value. Also, a small v equal to capital V upon capital N. So if we replace this small v by capital V upon capital N, then ensemble average of n square minus square of ensemble average of n equal to k t n k t upon a small v. This equation shows that. The density fluctuations are very small in the thermodynamic limit, provided that k t is finite or not infinite. 
if kt is very large then density fluctuation will be very large this equation is similar to the energy fluctuation in canonical ensemble and energy fluctuation in canonical ensemble we have already discussed and the link of that lecture is given in description box the energy fluctuation in canonical ensemble is given by this formula thus a fluctuation is related to an appropriate susceptibility the susceptibility in energy fluctuation is cv that is specific heat at constant volume or heat capacity and in density fluctuation it is related to isothermal compressibility kt these are special case of fluctuation dissipation theorem in statistical physics for predicting the behavior of system that obey detailed balance we use fluctuation dissipation theorem or fluctuation dissipation reduction according to fluctuation dissipation theorem when there is a process that dissipates energy and converts it into heat then there is a reverse process related to thermal fluctuation here we end our session in today's session we have discussed about density fluctuation in grand canonical ensemble goodbye